For the fastest, cheapest, and most reliable coins in the market with a no band guaranteed delivery, check out my coin sponsor, MOXP.com, and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff of the Mad Cheese, as always. In today's video, I got some very important updates about the upcoming EA Sports College Football 25 cover athletes and versions that are going to be coming out. And a lot of really important information has been being leaked as we're getting closer and closer to the release date. Or more importantly, close to the, uh, the big reveal coming in May, which is only a couple days away. Now, there's no set date on when the reveal will happen. But if you guys want to see me do more videos like this and keep you guys up to date with any information that comes up about EA, sports college football make sure to be a subscriber hit the like button let me know in the comment section other than that it's going to get right into the video so matt brown is back if you guys watched my previous uh videos a lot of information that's been coming out about this game is being leaked by him who's somebody who's apparently really clued in when it comes to college football and people are speculating that's where he's getting a lot of his information is directly from the schools so uh, i mean i'm not sure how clued in is he is with ea but he's had a lot of information released so far and most has been pretty accurate or is expected to be so i I think if he puts something out, you can take it uh, as it's pretty accurate. Now, previously I reported that um, there was a lot of people saying that the game's coming out on July 19th. That's still not 100% um, you know, confirmed. And it probably won't be confirmed until the May reveal comes out. Uh, which obviously is going to answer a lot of questions. Uh, obviously, that's probably going to be the first time that we get to see some gameplay. We'll get confirmation on a lot of the stuff that I'm going to be talking about in today's video. Uh, and we have no idea when that's going to come either. Uh, when it comes to the, the release of the game, they say tentatively scheduled to come out on July 19th. I think previously, I think in January, there was a report uh, that came out that it might be released on July 12th. So there's still a target area date between July 12th and July 19th. I think it's going to be one of those two two dates uh depend on you know whenever they think that they're ready uh to get the game out and it's at its best condition which is kind of what i feel about uh the upcoming may um, reveal because that's something where you know if they if they have it planned for the middle of may and they don't feel comfortable to roll it out yet or they're not ready they might push it back a week or it might come out within the first week of may we have no idea i don't care how clued or clued in you are there is no set date for the may release but i promise you guys the second that the may reveal comes out i will be bringing you guys information or whatever information is in that i will be bringing it to you guys so just make sure to be a subscriber hit the like button and all that good stuff now one of the biggest pieces of information that he released is that there's going to be multiple versions of the game i've heard people speculating that there might be up to three versions but i don't know what that third version would be if you go back through madden's history they always have a standard version which you could pick up at release date and then they always have a deluxe version where you could get it a couple days early you typically get a bunch of points or whatever type of currency they're going to use for their mutt system and you typically get some free players if you pre-order it somewhere and stuff like that they'll probably have all that because it's still the same company and i would imagine that in a previous video that i did they also also talked about how they're going to have um, classic jerseys or old jerseys and stuff like that but they said out front that that's going to be something you have to pay for so it wouldn't surprise me if you can have like a pick of a classic jersey as well in whatever game modes um, that's going to be available whether it's uh, you know the, the mutt game mode that they have or the superstar game mode that they have which is typically going to be or they're named you know other things because it's NCAA but that's going to be the same copy and paste formula they're going to reuse these things so I would imagine the deluxe version would have uh, things like that but if there's a third version i really can't say what the third version would be or what you would get with that i mean it wouldn't surprise me a lot of games will do that where they have like a really over the top version especially since this game has been so uh, celebrated and there's been such a long wait for a new version it wouldn't surprise me if there's like a holy shit version where it's like 150 bucks and you get something crazy it wouldn't surprise me at all because this is something that has a very large following and a very large fan base and people are really excited for so it wouldn't surprise me if they have uh, a third version that has something really excessive attached Attached to it because that's just how ea likes to play but at the end of the day the other thing that he released was that since there's multiple versions there's also going to be multiple cover athletes uh, and they're all going to be current players, which isn't something that EA has done in the past. And this goes back to licensing issues once again. Uh, back in, you know, when the, the last game was out 10 or more years ago, they didn't have the ability to put current players' names in the game because they didn't own the rights to their likeness like they do now. Uh, speaking of which, today is actually the, uh, the deadline uh, for college football players to, to sign on to get their $600 in their free copy of the game. And last I heard, it's close to 13,000 student athletes 
getting uh, you know signing on for the game. And there's you know it's, they said that 95% of the the college athlete um, you know uh, student body will be in the game, will be represented in the game with their names in the game, which is really cool. But in the past, since they didn't have the uh, the rights likenesses to the players, they would just basically use a player that just went pro. Because when you turn pro, you sign on to the NFLPA, and then the NFL owns the rights. So they kind of just like you know went backwards a year. So you would think if they were to do that this year, it would make more sense if they would use like Caleb Williams or uh, Marvin Harrison or something like that. They would take a player that just turned pro that they did sign on and own the rights to uh, for the NFLPA. Then they would just kind of retro that onto the cover of EA College Football. So now that they actually own the rights to all these players, we're going to get a cover athlete that's still playing in college, which I think is totally cool and it's totally understandable based off of that fact. But at the end of the day, I, you know, then it leaves a, there's a lot of questions on who it could be. Now they're reporting that it's going to be uh, they're all going to be from a different school in the Power Five conference, which means that you know it could really be anybody. A lot of, there was some speculation that it could be a coach like Nick Saban, or it could be a you know a previous uh, Heisman winner, a mascot fans all that stuff none of that's apparently true apparently it's going to be current players and they all play different positions meaning that you're only gonna have one quarterback one running back etc this is something i'm reading pretty much verbatim now that leaves a lot of questions of who it could be i personally think that when you hear quarterback it could be just about anybody. I was thinking that Shador Sanders was probably like one of the biggest names, kind of a shoe in for a cover athlete. But would you want to use him as the only quarterback? You know what I mean? Like I feel like there's a lot of good options out there in college for a quarterback. Uh, so it makes me wonder if Travis Hunter might get it instead. It's really interesting. Let me know in the comment section who you guys think uh, could be the cover athlete for NCAA college football. Uh, I think that's, um, you know, they give you a list here, some options. Quinn Ewers, Carson Beck, Dylan Gabriel. Um, and I'm not going to go over the whole list, but you guys can see it. But there's a lot of really good options here. I thought maybe if there's a third version, like a really um, expensive version, that it might make sense if they had, you know, I can imagine like the most expensive version has got to be called like the Heisman of edition or something like that because I think they used to do that but if they have like a really expensive version like that I wouldn't be surprised if they have a classic player or or you know uh, uh, somebody from the past but it says that's not going to happen uh, and he also released in a tweet later that one of them was very surprising even to him so uh, you know that's something that makes me think that we're all going to be surprised by that if he's surprised by that but like I said when I hear that I think maybe they're going to have you know uh, some maybe they'll have the Heisman trophy on it or something I mean, it really, you know, it's really up in the air. Nobody really knows. I'm going to end the video there, though. If you guys, like I said, if you want to see more videos like this, please make sure to be a subscriber. Hit like button. Let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching. Man, my shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.